Painting a regular door can be pretty easy, but painting a door with multiple sections of glass, that can be a little harder. You wanna make sure those lines are perfect and you don't wanna make any smudges on the glass. So today I'll be demonstrating three different techniques. Painter's tape, this mask and peel that's just a brush on, and the same mask and peel, but just in an aerosol can. Which one of these products provide the best result? Keep watching and I'll show you. And also every tool that I use within this video will be down below in the description, so go check that out. And the time that it took me to complete this project was probably about a weekend, so let's get started. Here are the French doors that I'm gonna paint. Because I'm testing this out, I'm going to put painter's tape on the bottom. In the middle, I'll use the brush on masking tape, and in the top, I'll use the aerosol can masking tape. So I grab my painter's tape to the top, the sides, the bottom, and you wanna make sure that there's a really good seal from the tape to the glass. Next, I'm going to start out with this masking tape that's in a tub. This is all liquid. The consistency is kind of like a really runny frosting. So you really wanna make sure you shake it up, mix it really well. Once you're happy with shaking it around, take off the lid, take your brush, and then start to apply a generous coat of this onto the glass. And I'll actually show you later in the video why having a generous coat of this matters compared to not. So while you're applying this, this can go directly on the glass and it can even go onto the wood that you're trying to paint. It acts kind of like a primer. And the beauty of this is when you take it off, because it's on a smooth glass surface, it comes off really easily and it leaves the part that you want to stay on the wood and seals everything and leaves a really nice clean finish. At least that's what the product says it'll do. So we'll find out when it dries. And for the sake of testing, I'm just gonna do all three panels in this row. Why not? Now for the masking tape in a can. Same story here. Take the can, shake it up really, really well because you wanna make sure that you get a good mix and then you hold the can about four to six inches away from the glass. And if you've ever used a spray can before, it takes a little bit of getting used to the first couple of sprays, but when you do, you kind of get your groove. Kind of do a stroking motion back and forth, and you wanna make sure that you get the angle right so it's covering the glass and the creases for the wood. And because this was so fast, I decided to do the entire top row. So you can see with the spray can, bled over a little bit to the area that I didn't want sprayed, but right below that, the brush on stuff is starting to dry. It dries clear. And below that, you'll see I only have one section of painter's tape because it took so long. So I left to get a drink, came back, and I started to see that there was running happening. On top of that, because it was an aerosol can, there was a little bit of texture on the wood. I didn't want that. So I took my brush, tried to smooth it all out. And I know I said this was kind of like frosting before, but this is like a very runny Elmer's glue, nothing else. But anyways, another thing you wanna be very aware of is pooling. So because it was dripping down, you can see here that it started to pool in the corners. You don't want that. So I decided to paint the entire glass with the excess of dripping masking tape. And you can also see there's a little bit of a texture to when you use this can. And you can see here, it actually turned the wood yellow when it started to fully dry. And this was after about 30 to 45 minutes, you can see it starts to dry clear, as well as the middle section, barely even noticeable, but it is there once I turn the camera. There's still some white spots showing that it's still wet, not fully dry, and then of course, the painter's tape at the bottom. So because this is just masking tape at this point, I want to paint the doors. So I grabbed some Kills 2 gray primer. Because these doors will be black in the end, I just started painting. Grab the brush, I applied a generous amount while making sure there's no dripping for this primer. After I was done with that, I moved to the middle and did the same thing. Painted the wood, knowing that I have a masking tape protection, and did the full row. After that, I went to the top row, hoping that this kills will cover this now yellow wood. And it did. After this single coat of primer dried, I applied the black paint. You'll notice the black paint doesn't cover all of the gray, and that's okay. My primary purpose was to make sure I'm getting in where the glass and wood make contact to see what is the best masking tape solution for painting this type of door. And before your top coat of paint dries, go back, check in the corners, in the cracks, creases, whatever, make sure there's no pooling. You'll see that this middle row really shows the grain of the wood because it was brushed on. And this top row, you can see a little bit of the aerosol can texture. It's not bad, you can kind of tell if you're looking for it, but otherwise it'll be fine. Now let your paint dry. I gave this a full 24 hours, grab a fresh razor blade, and I'm going to start with the painter's tape at the bottom. Start in a corner and start cutting. You wanna make sure that you hold your blade kind of at a 45 degree angle so it gets into the section between the wood and the glass. What you don't wanna do is hold your razor blade flat that it accidentally catches the paint in the wood that you just painted on, and then you have to redo it. And you can see here, I thought I had a good seal on the tape, 
but obviously some paint got through and got on the glass. Not a big deal because you can just take a razor blade and scrape it off, but it's still really annoying. So after I cleaned that up, I went to the row that had the masking tape in a tub. Same thing here, take your blade and hold it at an angle so it's getting into the area where the glass and the wood make contact and not trying to cut the wood as you're sliding the blade down. Then I took my razor blade and started to peel up some of this tape as it's dried now and you start to peel it off this again resembles kind of back in elementary school for those that are of age would put elmer's glue on their hand and slowly peel it off this is where having a thick coat of this comes in handy because everything you can just peel off very quickly if something is stuck don't be afraid to take your razor blade and give it another pass. And here's a close-up version of afterwards. Very clean. You can see there's a little bit of pooling in the corner, but I think that's just my own fault, uh, something I just didn't pay attention to. But otherwise, there's no bleeding like painter's tape did. Now for the top row, same thing. Took my knife made the cuts on the edges and got underneath and started to peel. Now this whole thing is a little bit more of a satisfying thing to peel and also watch just because the whole panel was painted because I had an excess of that aerosol can. A lot of dripping so I had to smear it around somewhere. And once it all dried this is what I got. Do the same thing to the other panels and here's a close-up. Very clean lines. There's not much excess of the primer or any of the paint on the glass and it looks like it's pretty stinking clean. And as you're peeling the stuff off, you can wad it all up and it kind of sticks together like you would if it was saran wrap. A little squishy, but if there's leftover or excess somewhere on your hands or something, you can just kind of use the ball to then take it all off. I then actually went off camera, painted the entire door black, and here's an example of what happens when you don't put on enough of this masking tape on the panel. I took the same approach, tried to take my razor blade, cut all the edges, and get underneath it. Well, I started to peel and it started to get all stringy. I could peel off a little bit and some would come off. I could peel off a little bit more and some would come off a little bit more, but then it would break. So you can see how this would be frustrating. If this does happen, if you just take a razor blade and scrape everything to the edge, you're essentially wadding everything up to the edge of the panel and then you can peel it all off. Ultimately, avoid this by being generous on the first coat. So some final thoughts on what product is best. Painter's tape. Traditional, cheap, less than $10 for a roll, so many different kind of options, does a relatively good job. You can scrape off the paint if there's any bleeding behind the tape. Some cons, it takes forever to measure out every single pane, especially if you have 15 panes to do. You times that by 2, 30, you times that by 2, 60. You can imagine how time consuming that would be, taping off every single one. Uh, trying to make sure that the paint didn't seep through past the painter's tape, but in the end, it still did. I'm gonna jump to the aerosol can, mask and peel by Jasco. This is, I think, around $20 at the time of filming. Some pros, very quick. I could cover the entire section of my French door, all 15 sides, in the time that it would take me to do maybe one or two panels with painter's tape. Another thing, it produced amazing results. Really clean, did a good job. Some cons, it colored the wood when it was raw, so I was worried about that with the primer. Luckily, the primer picked up that slack. Another con is, there's a lot of dripping, a lot comes out at one time and so you have to smear it around or you have to use that quickly. And texture, you may be texturing parts of the door that you may not want that will come through on the paint later on. Third, the Jasco Mask and Peel, this is going to be the winner. I'd crown this and I'd probably use this anytime I'd have to do this project again, whether it's a door, a window, whatever it may be. Some pros, you can control how much you apply to the glass right when you start. Dripping, any streaks, any pooling or anything, and also texture. It didn't color the wood a funny color when it fully dried. And knowing that I painted the rest of the door with a brush, it was consistent with the brush strokes. So you can't even tell that their brush strokes were there for this section. Some cons. It's a little bit more expensive than the aerosol can and also the painter's tape. 28 to $30 online, Amazon, big box store. As far as speed goes, it's right in the middle of the painter's tape and the aerosol can. You do have to take your brush, you have to apply it, but you have to do so liberally. If you don't find that balance of putting enough on there and also avoiding the drips or the pooling of this product, what will happen is when you try to peel it off when it's all dry, it'll start to flake. It'll come off stringy in pieces, but also keep in mind that all of this is done with a smooth glass. If you had textured glass or some sort of bumps or anything, I don't know how well this product would do because I haven't tested it. But from what I have tested, I wouldn't do painter's tape again. I would do the Jasco, Mask and peel, court paint on brush style. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.